Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to Bill Burr on deportation. Let's see what Billy the Goat has to say. Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr and it's time for the Thursday afternoon just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And I'm just checking in on you. I'm just checking in on you. Thanks, Bill. Um... Seeing how you're doing, seeing how your week's going, getting adjusted, trying to get comfortable here on the bed. Um, all right, deported father. Dear oh, Billy Justice. We're jumping right in. Oh, Billy Justice. This is the lawyer version of Billy. Let's go. Pull here on the bed. Um, all right, deported father. Dear Billy Justice. Uh, two and a half years ago, my father was deported to Mexico. He had been in the U.S. since 1978, since he was 13. My family struggled without him financially and emotionally it's been very rough I, it must have been brutal he's healthy and not dead but he can't be with us yeah that's got to be oh man that's fucking brutal it's been very frustrating and words can't describe it uh i'm getting married in a few weeks and he wasn't Aww. able to be at the wedding every day i see that's people so criticize terrible. trump and can agree with their reasons for doing so but my father was deported under a obama my family knows Three other people who were also deported under Obama. My white friends think they're good people because they liked Obama, but never looked to see what was happening. Uh, they didn't care then, but they care now. It makes me feel very mad because it feels insincere and lazy. As a white man who seems fairly progressive, can you tell me why this is? What would you suggest I say to them? It's an emotional thing for me, so it's hard to choose the right words. Congrats on your child. I have two nieces, and it's really the greatest thing to watch them grow. Uh, thank you. Um, this is, that's really tough. It's just so tough because you understand the laws, right? And you understand why they're in place. Um, but that's just tough to divide a family. And the man has been here since, I think he said 78. So that's just so tough. He's created a whole life and family and his whole world is here. And he got deported. And it's just like, oh, painful. Let's see what Billy has to say. What can you say to them? Oh, it depends on how open-minded they are. Uh, people who are really into politics which means they 100% watch CNN or Fox News all fucking day as if they're getting some sort of fair and unbiased news feed. You really can't say anything to either one of them. Um, I mean, they're a lot like sports fans where uh, I try to see, you know, I try to the best I can to see both. Like, I can legitimately be happy for Eagles fans. You know what I mean? I can legitimately look at fucking Derek Jeter and say that guy's fucking great. <laughs> and I can set aside my hatred of the Yankees or my wanting for my team to beat the Eagles yesterday. But um, it always comes back to sports. You know, it took me a long time to get there. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I mean, knowing the way I was wired, I would just walk right up to him and be, you know, just so you know, your fucking angel there, Obama. You know, who for some reason gets no shit whatsoever. I mean, it probably doesn't hurt that he went, that his presidency was between two of the fucking, two of the biggest fucking dipshits I've ever seen is fucking, did I say dipshit? I haven't said that because I'm trying to think over oh, the fucking word I could say and not be too fucking. I agree with this so much. You know, like I, and I am not political. I don't, I don't pretend to know a ton uh, and I, you know, I don't think any president has done anything perfectly. I don't think a single president has stepped out of the White House without controversy and and c criticism, not one. Uh, but I do think Obama, you know, obviously his presidency was a big deal because of the color of his skin. But also he came in between two of the most like controversial presidencies before and after like, and so I think like people were just like all right at least we have someone who feels like we can take a breath maybe for some people um but I don't think his 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 presidency was without a lot of flaw uh and so I agree with Bill on that I was like 
I think Obama's timing was the best thing to be on his side that like people just, you know, were like, all right, well, we got that or that. We got that. And now we got that. <laughs> In his fucking, did I say dipshit? I haven't said that because I was trying to think over oh, the fucking word I could say and not be too fucking offensive and think that I'm a fucking lefty here. 100%, which, you know, most of the times I am. But I mean, you know, can you fool me sometimes? You're not going to fool me again. Went after that, and then this guy who fucking tweets all the time. Oh, that was his impression of And then of Bush. before that, okay. you had a guy shoving cigars in, his, in fucking people's twats. I mean, I'll tell you, you know, it's been really rough since the first George Bush, who actually had the, you know, when we, we, we pushed uh, Saddam out of Kuwait, didn't go into fucking Iraq and was, was, was strong enough to push back against the fucking corporation and say, hey, look, this is not what we were doing over here. We accomplished our mission and we're going home. That's it. You know, so it's been a long fucking time. So I think that there's a. Uh, there's a thing with Obama, at least he wasn't Bush or Trump uh, right. kind of thing. So the people have a hard time seen him and i think he gets handled with kids gloves in the media you know what i mean they they you know every image of him he's like kayaking or fucking playing high lie and all of this shit like the joke i was doing in my act it, it, like it looks like an erectile dysfunction ad and they're really kind of ignoring that that guy for all the hope that he said and everything and i know that that job is you know I don't know, like literally know, but I, I understand that it's an incredibly difficult job. And they always say if you can get one thing done, which he did, he did get Obamacare through. So right. I guess it, it was. Yeah, if you can get one thing done and you did something, because I mean, you got to think about the things that I guess every president is handed down and having four years. Right. Like, again, you can run again and get another four, but you have four years to kind of like everything you promise but I think all those promises, and we all know, like if you're, if you're smart enough and you're aware enough, maybe not smart enough, let me not be a jerk, but if you're not aware enough to understand that like, first of all, they have to go in and like undo things before they can set their stuff in motion. Or, you know, there's like things you, there's steps you have to take and then you look up and four years are up and now you're running again. And so, yeah, I think every president is up against that first. And, uh... I do think that I think a lot of the reason why, like Bill said, Obama is handled with kid gloves is because Obama has turned himself into a personality post presidency. He's turned himself into a like TV personality and he does interviews and he's always charismatic and charming and funny and witty and people uh, are charmed. You know, his wife is now a personality his 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 whole thing has become like they write books and you know they they didn't shy away from the media and becoming personalities after the white house and so i think a lot of people um do handle him with a different care uh i agree with bill on this which he did he did get obamacare through so i guess it, it was uh an achievement but i have to tell you as someone who does lean left to watch him go on tour now with $70 million of tour dates to go talk to a bunch of fucking bankers and corporations, you know, and all of that. And, and just, I don't know. It just, it's as far as the way I read that, that's just those corporations washing their bribe money. Like we got you in office. You did what we wanted you to do. Now come talk to us for an hour and we'll give you a nice six figure paycheck and we'll all do it. And then you can be worth over a hundred million dollars like the Clintons, like the Bushes and all. Like it's so fucked up that none of them get called out on that. It's like the Bushes, the Clintons, the Obamas. It's like you guys dedicated your life to public service. And the presidency is the highest paying job which now is like a half a million dollars a year. If you do two terms, you're going to gross tops. You're going to, what is that? 500 times fucking eight. What is that? That's 4 million bucks. And somehow they, they, they all, they, they're buying giant houses and they all end up being worth nine figures. Uh, 
Um, yeah, because they're writing these books and they're going on tour, like you said, all those things. Right, right. But yeah, it's interesting how they start as these like low paid public servants. That is interesting. Up being worth nine figures. Um, and everybody just looks the other fucking way. I don't know. So I, I, maybe, maybe there's someone within your group that is understanding enough and can see both sides of that. You know, like if I said what I just said about Obama to a Trump person, they would be like, yeah, that's right, that's right. They would be going fucking bananas. But then if I even remotely suggested that Trump seemed a little emotionally unstable and that it's he's really doing the country a disservice to be tweeting and arguing with people on social media like a seventh grade girl. I don't even fucking respond to people on Twitter when it comes. Occasionally I do. But this is supposed to be the leader of the free world. Trying to get a Trump supporter to admit to how pathetic and embarrassing that is. I mean, that's just kind of the world that we're in right now. But maybe one of those Obama supporters, maybe you could... Um, you know, have we gotten off track from the question? I'm asking because I'm like a little confused at even where the question began now. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. But then also we live in such a fucked up world. I'm going to believe that you're actually Mexican and you wrote this and that you're not some white person that wrote this shit because they hate Obama. I have no fucking idea. You never know. There's no way for me to vet so um, if what you just said was true, uh, that is horrific. And I understand what you're saying uh, about Obama, because, you know, I, I think the best thing he had was he could deliver a speech better than Bush or Trump. But uh, at the end of the day, I even though the you know, the needle kind of leaned more left when he was in office, the, the ship stayed on course, if you know what I'm saying. All right. And there you have it, folks. Go and have the day you deserve. Peace.